All right, so we're going to take a look at how to run a basic USMN using the USMN sample file. And if you want to find this on your own device, you can go to Open Sample SA Files, scroll all the way down to USMN, and hit Open. It'll look something like this. I went ahead and set the background to white. So it looks like that. So in this instance, we have four different instrument locations that we've shot a number of control points. And in this case, we only have control points shot, but obviously in most situations, you'd shoot control points and then you would go and measure some features or something like that. So it's important to note that we're going to use the control points for um, aligning each of our stations. And then we're going to bring any additional points that were shot with the instrument. We're going to bring that with the, the movement as well. So pretty simple to do uh, if you look at each instrument it is each one is shot 11 different points and they're all named the same so if your points were not named correctly you'd want to do that first using a uh, edit rename a uh, really convenient way to do this is go to edit rename points by auto corresponding to groups and just use inner point distance so if their names are not in any way related then you can select a um, uh, a nominal point group and then you can rename other point groups to similar names based on inner, inner point distance calculations. So it's a really quick way to have everything named the same. So we've got four point, four groups, um, four stations and all of our points are named correctly so all we have to do is go to analysis, coordinate uncertainty, USMN or just press Alt U. Select all the instruments. I'm just going to hit the F2 key here and hit all and then hit enter and you can see that at each station it cho shows us we have um, 11 measurements there and if you had more point groups at each station each instrument would obviously be bring in uh, all those other point groups okay so let's look at the USMN dialog here really quick um, over here in the top left hand corner we show which instruments we've um, used in this file um, I'm, I went ahead and unchecked uh, or it actually comes up this way by default um, this will be the API tracker 3 we're going to use that for our reference instrument so that means that everything will be moved to this instrument so this one will not move everything else will move to it if I if I check that one and then that would mean all the instruments are floating we may come to a solution um, where all of the instruments have moved away from our control points but if this one you already had correct in the um, frame that you wanted in you could just move everything else to that frame um, if you didn't have any of them in the frame that you wanted uh, the wor the frame that you wanted to keep um, then you could just move all of them together and then once you've ran the USMN you could move all of them uh, again so I'm just gonna leave that unchecked so that everything will move to the API tracker uh, over here what we have is our amount of error in each point and let me go ahead and do a best fit then solve here so you can see kind of how everything works so you see all of the shot lines move um, to here which is the um, the place where it found the solution there and then that gives us a look at our error ranking here and basically um, what you need to know about how this works is um, this tells you what point it is point 13 has an error value of 104 percent um, which means that it's used 104 percent of our um, error range and so that you may not want to use that specific point 13 so you can uncheck that and then go ahead and do another solve and then without using point 13 10 pops up um, as the next highest error ranking and so you could uncheck that and then we get to a point where we have no points over 100. So generally over 100 is kind of um, where you want to uh, and start eliminating points there. You all can also can see in the measurement column that we have um, observations on each point at instruments 0, 1, 2, and 3. If there was an instrument that had not shot, um, let's say point 10, like let's say instrument 2 had not shot point 10, then that would just be um, have an underline there instead of using a number. So um, another way that we can do this is go back and include include all of those and then we could do what's called an auto solve which is a best fit and then solve and then it will automatically trim the outliers and you can see here that it automatically trimmed point 13 only observation 0 um, so it didn't 
um, exclude all observations of point 13, just the one with the uh, highest error ranking, and that ended up being um, when it was shot by instrument zero. If we do this one more time, it will say, hey, you've already auto-solved, so you've already trimmed. Um, we want to do that again, so is that okay? We hit yes, and then we get a really good ranking here where 93 is our highest, and we excluded shot at point 13 from instrument zero and point 10 from instrument zero because you can see those are blank there. So then at that point, I've got a really good solution here. <clears throat> My max error is 5 thou and um, overall RMS is 1.2 thou. So that's a really good um, solution there for aligning all the instruments. I'm going to hit apply and you can see all of the instruments and points um, align there. So this is our true USMN here and you can see that USMN also creates a composite group. So if we zoom in really close here you can see what a composite group is is something slightly better than an average of all four shots here. So if I turn on the point labels by hitting Alt L, we can see that this is point 9 and point 9 has the four instrument observations on it and then it also has a composite point. And so that composite point is not just an average of the XYZ locations that were the four points that shot it, but it's actually doing a USMN solve on it. So this is really a more accurate uh, description of where point nine should fall based on all the instrument observations. So then you can use that composite point if you wanted to move all of these instruments at once. You can move that composite group to another um, nominal control group if you wanted to and then move all the instruments with it. So that's USMN, a uh, pretty simple way to, to align a bunch of different shots with um, uh, instruments in different locations and come up with a really good solution.